welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessing day. And on today's video, we're going to do lots of clean motivation. We're going to be doing laundry. And we're also going to be baking a banana bread. The easiest banana bread you could ever bake on your whole life. <laughs> so on today's video, before we go ahead and get started, this is in collaboration with my friend Marina from Fearfully Creative. You guys go check her out. She also lives in a mobile home just like I do. She does tons of cooking videos, tons of DIY. And you guys will absolutely love her. So I will link her information down below. So you guys go check her out and go say hi for me. We're going to be baking a banana bread. And this is the type of mix that I, the cake mix that I like to use um, the ingredients are back here super easy to follow half a cup of water half a cup of oil and three eggs and just banana that's all you need this is all I use for my banana bread and where are the bananas I have some bananas right here so we're gonna go ahead and get started on okay baking. so we are ready to bake I already sprayed my pan and I'm gonna you're gonna need your your mix your you use just regular mix I'm gonna do two eggs because I hate doing three of them you're gonna need some vegetable oil and that is it this is all you're gonna need so let's go ahead and pour your flour in your mixing bowl now I don't have a mixing machine so I'm gonna have to do this by hand because girl I haven't had a chance to buy my mixing machine and we're gonna go ahead and put two eggs break two eggs in there that's it it's easy you don't have to be all fancy I'm just gonna go ahead and pour just half around half a cup of oil that's it not too much and then we're going to do bananas. So I'm going to go ahead and do probably around four bananas. One. Two. Whenever I put bananas on like this, like all saggy looking, I hate throwing my bananas. I never throw away food. Okay, ladies, so I did bake my bread for around 30 minutes. I did 20 minutes without the paper foil and then the other 10 minutes with the paper foil on it. I did add it some coconut flakes and some nuts. And for some reason, my phone was not recording at the time that I was mixing all of the ingredients, but I only used a bean smasher and that was it. And I also added a little bit of oil, vegetable oil, just to make that bread super soft um, once it was cooked. Let's see how's it going. Is it cooking? Is it baking? Oops. Still needs more. More time. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the banana bread and it is fully cooked. I love to use the paper foil for like five to ten minutes just so the bread can be like moist. And this is how it looks like. Let's go ahead and cut a piece. Okay guys, so this is how I bake my banana bread. Super easy to bake at home. I did forgot to mention that I did use milk instead of water, so that's just like a heads up. Is it good? Say hi. Say, say hi. Hola. Say hola amigos. Hey y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start with laundry today because I have a lot of clothes that I need to put away and organize. And if you're coming from Rena's channel, thank you all very much ladies for being here, for being part of my family. I would love to have you and I would love to know who you are. So comment down below so that I can welcome you and say hi and know who you are. <laughs> does it take to be happy how many times do you have to feel i recently did a makeover on this room so i will leave that video down below if you would like to go watch it and i am just in love with this room right now how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go when you're fed up with mistakes 
then heading over to my girls room i'm just gonna tidy up this space right here and i recently show you how i diy these two twin headboards that were super easy and affordable to make it took me like 20 minutes to work on each one super easy so i will leave that video down below if you would like to go watch it If you're new to my channel, we would love to welcome you. Thank you so much for being here, for being part of our family. And just so you can know a little bit of who I am, um, I do live in the state of Texas. I am a stay-at-home mom, 2407 of three wonderful kids, one boy and two girls, and I am a wifey as well. We do live in a three-bedroom mobile home that still needs lots of repair, but we will shortly get there. Um, hopefully, I can bring you along with us and you can see all these small little changes that we're doing at a budget life in a world that keeps changing think that it's progress you're making copy and paste pretty faces oh Goodness. we are finally done cleaning my room i put up all the clothes away and that took me a long time but my room is clean i didn't mop i'm not gonna mop today i'm gonna do that some other time Okay, so heading over to the laundry room, me and my husband, we are hoping that we can get done with the flooring this year. This is my laundry area. This is where I keep my washer and dryer machine. So we are hoping that this year we're going to get our laundry fixed. Okay, y'all, so this is it for today's video. I hope you got lots of motivation. Don't forget to go over to Marina's channel at Fearfully Created. Let her know that I sent you. You guys will absolutely love her channel. And see you on the next one. Bye, y'all. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, 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 la da 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 oh, 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 la da da da, making our Christmas memories. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me